This portion of the news is brought to you by Inspiration Senior Living, where we provide affordable elegance to Pahrump area seniors. Give us a call at 751-2300 and make an appointment to tour our community. Each year in the United States, about 60,000 women and one out of every 10 low-risk babies experience severe complications during and after childbirth. There are existing quality measures used to assess the compli these complication rates in order to help hospitals provide better care. A study evaluated two of these measures to determine if they were associated with severe complications in both mothers and their babies. This health tip is brought to you by Desert View Hospital and Mountain Valley Physicians Group. Don't put your health on hold. We have time for you. Call us to schedule your appointment, 775-751-7100. New mom, Margaret Stevens, is holding her first child, John Randall O'Keefe. When we got through the labor and delivery and there were no complications, it was just a huge feeling of relief. However, not all deliveries are that smooth. There's significant variation in how well hospitals perform in the care they deliver to women during their um, delivery hospitalization. Dr. Elizabeth Howell from the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai and co-authors examine two widely used quality measures, elective deliveries performed prior to 39 weeks of gestation and cesarean deliveries in low-risk women, looking to see whether these were associated with severe complications in mothers and their babies. They examined 116,000 deliveries that took place at 41 New York City hospitals during 2010. Hospitals that performed well on these quality measures didn't necessarily have low rates of severe complications in moms or babies. Severe complications for mothers include kidney failure, respiratory failure, and the need for blood transfusions. For babies, nerve damage, hypoxia, or not having enough oxygen, shock, and infection. About one in every 42 women had one of these severe uh, maternal complications. One in about 13 babies had a complication. Some hospitals had rates that were three to four times higher than other hospitals. The current measures are not sufficient they're good, but we need more. And unless we measure the right things, we don't know where to improve. We want a robust set of quality measures that capture the outcomes that are important to women. Although Margaret is tired, she is enjoying being a mom. I've only had two hours of sleep, so motherhood has been sleepy, but filled with an indescribable feeling of joy and relief. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report. On average, a hospital with higher complications in mothers also had higher complications in babies. A ribbon cutting was held at the Holiday Inn Express on Monday afternoon. Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you all for coming out today. We are here at the brand new Holiday Inn Express and Suites at the intersection of highways 372 and 160. And we are thrilled to have you all here and ready for business. I'd like to introduce Jim Burgess, who is one of the owners of the company. Um, thank you for coming to Pahrump. We needed you desperately. <laughs> At this time, we will ask Ed and Joe to please cut the ribbon. All right, thank you. Thanks very much, and we wish you a lot of success. We know you don't need it. Thank you. Yeah, we're opening the new Holiday Inn Express in Pahrump. We've uh, been working on this project for about two years. We're a hotel company based in southern Utah. We own and operate hotels in Utah, Idaho, Nevada, Texas, and Wyoming. Um, we're really excited. This is a market we looked at for several years and just knew that, mar that the market here was ready for a new hotel, and we're just really happy to be here and grateful for the hospitality that's been shown to us, um, also by all the members here you know, in the local community, the Chamber of Commerce, the city, and uh, all the different subcontractors and vendors we've worked with. We're just really excited to be here and finally open. What kind of amenities does a Holiday Inn offer? Uh, we're actually going to be offering a lot of different amenities here. We have an outdoor swimming pool, a uh, free continental breakfast. We have a fitness center, a business center, uh, a little bit of meeting space. Uh, we're also working really closely with uh, the Prump Nugget next door. And you know they're going to offer a lot of food and you know, those kind of amenities for our guests. Here is Ronnie Gibson with Nye County Public Auction. The following is brought to you by Nye County Auction. 
We have a huge two-day auction this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. You definitely want to come down and take a look. Saturday's portion is going to be uh, state vehicles and beautiful furniture that we have, uh, one of our general auctions that we always have. We've got some beautiful tools for that sale, uh, collectibles, a whole bunch of everything. And then once again, on Saturday, we're going to be starting at 12 noon. We're going to have a huge auction, a multi-state auction. Uh, we've got G-scale trains, HO-scale trains, N-scale trains, O-scale trains. I mean, just a huge collection of trains. Um, it's incredible. It's just everything that you're ever going to need for a train collection, this is the place to be. As well as firearms, ammunition. Uh, we've got some very incredible knives that we're going to be selling as well in that cell. Mm -hmm. So you definitely don't want to miss out. As well as a 36-foot motorhome that's in incredible condition. Nice open floor plan on that. Very nice piece. And what's, what time is Sunday's auction? The Sunday's auction's at 12 noon, and Saturday's auction's at 10 a.m. It's our regular auction that we have. And then, can you view these items online? Take a look at our website, which is www.nyauctions.com, as well as go to uh, preview on Friday. Come down and take a look and, uh, between 9 and 5, and uh, we'll have everything laid out, and you can take a look at everything, look at the vehicles, fire them up. Just come down and take a look on Friday. And then Saturday morning, you can even preview right before the auction? We open our doors at 9 o'clock on both days, Saturday and Sunday. And, uh, yeah, it's, it gives you a little bit of extra time to preview and get that early seat and everything to take a look. Where are you guys at? We're at 850 South Lola Lane, same street as the hospital. All right. And then uh, the website address once again. The website address is www.nyauctions.com. If you want to take a look at Sunday's catalog, just click the little blue link that says proxy bid. And then what's the phone number for more information? Phone number 775-537-2500. 42-year-old Jerry Patton has been arrested for charges related to child abuse. The Nye County Sheriff's Office was investigating claims of child abuse. According to the report, the victim came to school with numerous bruises and other injuries on several locations on her person. Stepmother Kathleen Davies was arrested and booked into the Pahrump Jail. Information was also obtained that Father Jerry Patton also physically disciplined the victim in a manner that was unreasonable. And we'll be right back with more from News 46.